Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm actually going to be showing you how to make a name applique and this can be used in so many different projects. You can incorporate it into a quilt block, you can use it for the cover of a busy book and so many different things. I'm actually going to be using the one I create today to make a personalized child sized tote bag for Peyton that I will show in a future video. To get started, I selected the cotton fabrics that I wanted to use, and I really wanted to go with just shades of purple, since purple is Peyton's favorite color, but I realized I did not have enough of them, so I decided to go with uh, all the colors of the rainbow instead, just because that is fun. Then I sketched out some blocky letters to fit the size that I decided the letters needed to be. Block or bubble letters are the easiest, especially if you are a beginner at appliqueing. Then I cut all the letters out. Next I grab the fabric that I'll be putting the applique on and cut it out a couple inches bigger than I needed it to be. I also cut out a couple of pieces of lightweight fusible interfacing and fused it on the back of the fabric according to the package directions just to give it a little bit more um, structure and so that it wouldn't stretch or warp while I was working with the fabric. Then cut out the fabric for your letters, making sure to allow extra around the edges. If you are doing all of your letters out of one fabric, you can definitely just cut out one large piece that they all fit on. Then cut pieces of Wonder Under to fit onto each piece of fabric. Wonder Under has a glue texture on one side and paper on the other. To use, place the glue side against the back side of the fabric and iron to adhere. Then you can trace your letters onto the paper side of the Wonder Under. Make sure to trace the letters backwards so that when the pieces are flipped to the right side, they will be correct. Use a pair of sharp scissors to carefully cut around each letter, and now you have your applique pieces. Arrange the letters on your backing fabric, and when you are happy with the placement, begin to peel off the paper backing. You can twist the applique to make a small tear in the paper, making it easier to remove. When all the paper is removed and everything is in place, carefully press with an iron to fuse them all down. You don't want to slide the iron on the fabric or else the pieces could shift around. Once everything is securely in place, it is best to sew around all the letters to ensure they stay for a very long time. A lot of people prefer to use a tight zigzag stitch, but my machine is old and only straight stitches, so that is what I use. I also decided to do an outline around all the letters using a coordinating color thread. And there you have it. Your word applique is done and I think it turned out super cute and I can think of so many different projects that it would be perfect for. I however made this specifically for a little tote bag that I am making for Peyton and I will have that and some other fun personalized projects up in the future so make sure to check out the information icon up in the corner of the video um, so that you see those links when they are posted. In the comments, let me know what you would use an applique like this for. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And I will have more tutorials up soon. Bye.